Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Coda Studio and in this video we are going to learn this game and the game name is Monkey Catching Bananas and this game is totally a replica of Apple Catching Game so without wasting any time let's get started. Alright, so we are going to make this game on Scratch software. So first I will delete this cat and now I will select the monkey from the character library and these characters are also known as the sprite. So I will select the monkey. Um, okay and now you can see the monkey is there on the stage now i will make the size of this monkey small i will make it by number 50 and you can see the size has changed now what i want whenever i press the right arrow key the monkey should move to the right hand side and whenever i press the left arrow key from my keyboard then the monkey should move to the left hand side so i will take change x by 20 to move right hand side and again i will go to the events and i will take when the space key is pressed i'll make it by left arrow and again i'll go to the motion and i'll take change x by minus 20 so that the monkey should move to the left hand side so x is used for left and right so now i will select the background from the background library so I think this is perfect for this game, right? Now I will select bananas, right? So uh, I'll select bananas and I'll make the size of this banana small. I'll make it by uh, 50 again and I think this is perfect. Now what I want, like this banana should come from the upside when the flag is clicked. Uh, like this, I want from this here. So when flag is clicked, I will take set Y to 180 so 180 is a starting point from the top so set y to 180 then i want it should go to the random position so again from the motion i will take the random position block so when flag click you can see the banana is going to the random position but i want this uh, banana should come down in a proper way right so i'll go to the controls i'll take forever and now I'll go to the motion again and I'll take change y by minus 5. First, this is change y by 10. I'll make it by minus 5. Now you can see when I press the flag, the bananas are coming down in a proper manner, right? But the thing is that the bananas are not going up again. When I click the flag, the bananas are coming down, but it's not going up again. So what I will do... I will take uh, if y, uh, if the y position is lesser than uh, minus 170, right? I'll take this condition. I'll go to the operators, take the lesser than sign and I'll go to the motion again. I'll take y position and now I'll take it by, make it this 50 by minus 170. So if this condition is true, then the banana will go up where? So, I'll set Y to 180 and then go to random position like that, right? So, now whenever I click the flag, you can see the bananas are going up again to the random position and it's coming down again, right? So, now we will make the scores for the scheme. So, I'll go to the variables and make the score. And now, I want like when the flag is clicked then the score should be zero so whenever we start the game the score should be zero so when the flag click will set the score to zero and the score will change then only when this monkey touch the bananas so i'll take the forever block now i will take if and then block again like if touching monkey right we are doing this program in banana so we will take uh, touching mouse pointer here will change that mouse pointer by monkey so whenever the monkey will touch to the banana the score will change so change score by one so i just want one like whenever it touch to the banana the uh, monkey will touch the banana you'll get the one score right and then i will add some sound here 
so i'll take this block now i'll go to the sound library and i'll select some uh, sounds here so we have so many you know effects boing. here so i will just select this boing one i like this one right and i'll go back to the code i'll change this thing by boing now again what i will do i will go to the motion i'll take um set y to 180 and then go to random position so once the score is changed the banana has to go up again to the random position right so like this the code is ready for this banana and it's very easy right now what we have to do we have to duplicate these bananas so it's totally up to you how many duplicates you want you want four duplicates you want five duplicates it's totally up to you and you can see the score is changing whenever this monkey is touching to the bananas for duplicating this bananas what i want uh, like if the score is equals to 50 then you win this game right let's make the winning thing also so um if the score is equals to so i'll go to the variables again and i'll take this a small input uh, score here and then i will just broadcast the message that is you win so right now it's there broadcast message one i'll write the new message here that is you win and then i'll click on okay and after that i will just take the stop all so whenever the score is equals to 50 everything will stop and you win poster or the sprite will come up on the screen right now we will make the duplicate of these apples oh sorry bananas right so we will make the duplicate so it's totally up to you how many duplicates you want so i think four is enough so now we will create a new uh, character that is for the UN so you have to make the you know a um, UN kind of a poster here on the canvas so you can select the color so you can select your favorite color and okay so like this you have to make it with the help of the T you can write your text that is you win so first you have to change the color you can take some bright color and then start typing the you win and uh, okay let's write you in here and now if you want to make the size big so you can just stretch it from there and you can just make the size big for this you know for the sticks and if you want to change the font you can easily change the font like this right so let's do the programming for this you win because uh when the flag is clicked this thing Oink. is there right and when the flag is clicked the game has to start but this thing is there so we have to hide this thing so when flag click i'll go to the looks and then i will take the hide block and when when it will show when i receive uh you win so when i receive you win this thing will show so we have to scroll it down and we'll take this show block so you can see like whenever i click the flag but before that let's add some um sound here right let's add a cheer sound like when you win this game obviously some sound should be there right it it looks nice so i'll take this cheer sound i'll click on code here so i'll change the pop sound with the cheer sound and now let's click on the flag and you will see that, that poster is high so when i score 50 that thing will come so in every game we have a bonus point so let's make a bonus point so whenever this monkey will touch to the stop brie right then it will get then you will get the bonus point so let's select the stop brie or you can select any another character it's totally up to you again make the size by 50 and oh make it by 70 i think all right so same programming we have to do when the flag is click you have to set your score by zero right again and then again we'll do the same thing like set y to 180 then go to random position then we'll ch uh, take the forever block and after that change y by minus 5 we'll do the same programming
सो नाउ वॉट वी विल डू लाइक इफ द मंकी विल टच टू योर स्ट्रॉबेरी देन यू विल गेट योर बोनस पॉइंट दैट इज फाइव राइट लेट सेलेक्ट द नंबर फाइव और यू कैन गिव देन यू कैन गिव ट्वेंटी इट्स टोटली अप टू यू राइट बिकॉज दिस इज योर बोनस पॉइंट सो द बोनस स्कोर विल बी नंबर फाइव I'll take number five. You can take ten, twenty. It's totally up to you. Now again, we will do the thing like we'll add the music here. We'll add the sound. So I'll just take this clock, play uh, until done. So now again, I will go to the motion, and again I'll take set Y to one eighty, and then go to random position, right? So I'll take set. Y to one eighty. Let me scroll it down. Ah. Uh, okay. Then we'll take the set block set Y two. I'll change this minus value by one eighty, so that strawberry can go upside again to the random position. All right. So the bonus point is done. Now let's make. a character like if that cur if your like let's pick a bomb character okay so if the bomb will touch to your monkey then the game will get over right so the bomb character is not there in the character library so you have to draw it right so you can draw them uh, uh, this bomb character like this or if you want to select some another character like if you want if the monkey touch to the x or y a uh, character then the game should get over so you can do that also but i will take this bomb I'll make this bomb right now. It's look like a watermelon. Okay, now it's looking better. Uh mm huh. -hmm. So let's complete this bomb. Okay, so now I will make this size small. I'll make it by number fifty because too big. For this game again, I'll go to the code area and I will do the code for this bomb, right? But in this thing, but in this code, we will not set any score and we will not change any score, right? So I'll take when flag click again. We'll do the same thing like we have done in the strawberry and in your bananas. That when flag click, set Y to one eighty, then go to random position, then it will come down. will make it by minus 5 okay and after that um what we'll do <laughs> okay right now it's going up let's make it by minus 5 uh, uh what is this let's make it by minus 5 and then we'll go to the controls we'll take if and then and now we'll take uh we'll go to the operators first we'll not we'll not take this thing we'll go to the operators first and we'll do the same programming like if y position is smaller than minus 170 then it has to go up again right we'll do the same thing so now what i want like whenever this monkey touch to your bomb then the game should get over so we'll take touching mouse pointer we'll make it by mouse pointer by monkey and now we will uh, broadcast a new message so now right now it says broadcast you win we'll write the new message that is game over and now i'll click on okay after that and now i'll go to the controls and i will take stop all So whenever the monkey touch the bomb, everything will stop, and that uh, new display, that is the game over thing, will come on the screen. So I'll make the new character for my game over. We'll make in the same way like we have make that you win thing, right? We'll just okay. Now we'll set this thing. We'll select the T and we'll write the text that is the game over. You can select the color according to yourself. 
right and now we will just write it game over and now we will make it little bit big because it's very small with the help of this dots we'll stretch it and we'll make it big okay so this is done now we'll do the same programming like when the flag is clicked and when i receive the game over so what i want when the flag is clicked this thing should hide and when i receive the when whenever the monkey touch to the uh, this bomb right then it will show so when flag click hide when i receive boing. game over show all right boing, boing. so you can boing. see whenever the monkey touch to the banana uh, this bomb right then the game over thing is come so like this way boing. you can make your games you can change your characters according to yourself boing, right boing. and that's boing. it for this game boing, boing. 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 That's it for this video. I hope this video is helpful to you. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give a big fat thumbs up. Keep supporting this channel for such more videos. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Till then, bye. Take care.